returning to his practice of giving voice to common people's opinion and disgust through his artworks. Daku's piece at Inland Container Depot is next to one of the biggest landfills in Delhi. He creates a composition that is simplistic yet powerful. Daku paints the word breathe using an ink created from industrial toxic waste, asking the viewer to breathe in the air of the most polluted city in the world. I love the white wall just saying breathe. It, it's so, so plastic, some plastic, but it's very, very powerful. It's minimal and, you know, just a personal thing. The ink was made out of like pollution, especially in Delhi, it's quite apt. So yeah, I really like breathe and also the, just the spacing of the letters and how it's so like, the piece itself is so non-polluted, but actually the material used is kind of made out of pollution. It kind of, I think the space that he's chosen is, is beautiful and it kind of stops you and makes you just calm down for a minute of those, those letters and that word. What I liked about Daku is uh, the ink that has been used is taken from the industrial waste. So this way you're giving a kind of a, uh, you know, a, maybe a note to the world that uh, you just have uh, something for the industrial concern as well. And the place, obviously, the containers that give you the feeling of the industrial thing. He has taken the something out of the industrial waste, the toxic kala ink he has made. Hendrik painted Asia's tallest mural in South Korea. Here at ICD, he takes on a similar challenge. His canvas is a 120-foot giant silo next to the beastly Thuglakabad landfill. He now paints a monumental portrait of an anonymous man titled, There is nowhere to go but everywhere, finishing a story he started two years ago in Delhi. Concept-wise, it's kind of related to the mural of Mahatma Gandhi I did two years ago. Because when Star Daily approached me uh, with the idea and the photo of this location, I thought it would be really interesting since I painted one of the most iconic Indian portraits, to do a portrait of someone totally unknown, in kind of uh, creating a nice contrast and then kind of uh, telling the complete story. For me, it's kind of like a circle. Having on one side the, the, one of the most iconic Indian persons from like history at all, painted on the uh, ITO crossing right on the uh, Delhi police headquarters. So this is like a nice kind of inner city, like a special thing for the police and, and, and the building itself. And on the other side, this one, it's kind of located in an area where we, you would never expect art. And probably most of the people working out here seldom go to like openings or museums. So this is why to me it kind of tells the whole story. You got like the the more like related to the the art and the museum kind of concept Gandhi in the inner city areas and this portrait of the unknown uh, man in this kind of complete industrial area. Yeah, the execution of the, the painting, I would say it's totally handmade because it's kind of freestyle without the use of a projector or something like this. On the technical aspect, this would be probably the most challenging part of this one because a round shape always creates some sort of distortion on the sides. Hendrik is inspired by the surroundings that, to him, symbolize the development of our cities at the hands of the ordinary citizens who are ultimately neglected. 
it's, it's not a portrait of someone who's directly working over here, but it's a portrait of someone who's kind of working in this whole uh, concept of garbage collecting the landfill. So I think it do tells a story also in relation to the landfill, but I more see it as a, like a symbol for all the people working out here. Because it's a, it's a pure industrial space and for the individual it's kind of maybe tough to work in here. So if this could uh, serve as like a, a symbol, that would be uh, the best for me. One thing that is making this art form interesting because the people around here, they could witness the way the piece was done. Compared once again to a museum or a gallery, you just see the final artwork. So I think this do helps that you can relate to the artwork a little better because you have seen the way it kind of uh, was put up. And then I think it's um, the interesting part is that no one really knows who he is. So this might lead to interesting questions about society in, in general. So because of someone really unknown kind of being painted larger than life, to me it's like a statement as well. Hendrik's fascination with old faces reflects the anonymity and transience of the contemporary urban experience. It's for a different reason that I would favor to paint old faces. First of all, on a like uh, painterly approach, it's a little easier to paint wrinkles. So that's kind of the, the easy way out. But then the main reason content-wise would be that for the viewer, I think an older face just tells a, a better or like a richer story. Because from all the stuff you experience uh, during your life, it's kind of written in your face. And this is what I, I'm trying to portray. I think if you want to capture like the aura or like the inside of a person, this works best, at least for myself. And if you use color, color always can kind of distract. And as you said, it's kind of difficult to say what nationality this person would be. So I think the, the black and white really breaks it down to the individual and self and to take away this whole kind of aspect of uh, what race it would be, like where it comes from. उनकी तस्वीर है नेपाल के जो कौन है वो खाद नहीं इतने जानता हूँ नेपाल के हैं जैसा लग रहा है स्टेडियम के साइन क्या पुटो है सर के ऊपर पट्टी बनाया हुआ है गाड़ी उड़ी है मुझे चाहे ये स्टेडियम के साइन का वैसा ही पुटो इतना बात चित्र जो है आप पहली बार देख रहे हैं मैंने बनाते ही At the end of the day, we are all humans, first of all. And then another also interesting feature is that a lot of people might go like, he looks like the friend of my grandfather. So we kind of, we do think we are all so special, but at the end of the day, we are kind of similar. <laughs>